Hello, and today I've been asked to verify a Louis Vuitton Elma in monogram. Firstly, first question, is this piece real? I have no doubt this piece is a genuine piece. It's a monogram Elma. Uh, it seems to be at least 10 years old. Um, it, uh, it does have a few stains and that on it, which um, does detract a little bit from it. But it's uh, it's 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 a reasonable Alma. Um, the piece itself, a, a a person's asked me to verify it to to, to make sure it is real. Uh, having a look at it, the stitching, the um, the pattern, all seems to be correct. Um, no problems with it at all. You could probably clean it up a bit. I'd I'd say you could you could use a little bit of brasso on the um. um the the brassware there just be very careful not to get it onto the uh, the leather um, looking at the piece I've, I've actually uh, fortunate enough to actually my wife's got two Elmer's she's got a Damia one and a monogram one and I've compared this to it and uh, yes it does does seem does seem to be be quite quite authentic there uh, the only thing I, I will add is that there does seems to be a fair bit of <coughs> stains on it. You can actually, on my wife's Elma, we did actually get the bottom replaced and that can be done by Louis Vuitton. It's actually quite expensive. It's sort of, if you do replace a section, it's sort of, if you've bought it second hand, it makes it unprofitable to resell it. That's the only problem, of course. Depends why you've bought, it depends why you have bought it. But, um, personally, looking at the piece myself I I would tend to I would tend to probably buy a little bit better condition I find these these ones that have um, really used and abused pieces they can be quite difficult to resell because no lady likes to get a second-hand purse so what you've got to try and do is nothing wrong with selling second-hand purses or bags but you want to try and get one that doesn't have a lot of flaws or if it does have a flaw it can be rectified at a low price so this one here seems to have a fair bit of wear so I, I, I don't think there's much you can really do to to restore it if you replace the bottom section that's the leather section it would actually be quite uneconomical to resell so I, I think myself, if I, 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 with my collection being what it is now, I tend to uh, only buy pieces that are that are better. But 100%, this is a genuine Elma. Uh, the stitching, just, just, it's actually easier on a older piece to tell if it's real or not because if the piece is brand spanking minty new, just like a lot of fakes, you will see you can't see how they they last the test of time <clears throat> and this piece here you can even though it has had a lot of use it's still quite a reasonable item so I would would have no hesitation in in, in um, giving this one here the, the the tick of approval it's a genuine one personally I would have invested a little bit more money and got a better quality one I think uh, with the as far as the Elmers go there's a there's there's ones that are like new which attract a big uh, premium and there's ones that have been used a lot this here would have to be probably at the bottom end I'm afraid uh, this doesn't mean it's a terrible piece I mean look Louis Vuitton bag is a Louis Vuitton bag I mean you can just there's nothing to say that how does anyone know you've bought it second hand but it, it's in, in my opinion there I'd be I would be looking for pieces just a little bit better than that there I, I think it's um it's a genuine piece to resell it for a profit I think you're going to be struggling because of the fact that a lot of people are going to just say oh look it's too worn it's too used so that's that's the only negative on that piece there but 100% genuine it's a genuine piece and um, uh, thank you for letting me verify this piece thank you